hello all welcome to our youtube channel poultry help today we are going to learn about poultry feed formulation through the excel uh, now uh, i am going to uh, open the excel file i have get it kept in this folder feed formulation then uh, let's open it this uh, excel file you can get in the description or you can mail uh, we will provide you this excel excel file this uh, basically this uh, excel file is uh, developed uh, developed by the universities a long time ago you can see this excel file and this excel file I have the workbook this basically it is a workbook and uh, it has a uh, this uh, one two three four five six seven this uh, different seeds and uh, each of this is very much importance for the feed formulation now there is some some types of information this yeah we will be going through this information and formulating our poultry feeds now to uh, in order to use excel for the feed formulation you have to do one small setting in your excel sheets go to the file file menu then choose in options okay now the add-ins and go you you you, uh, you make sure this this solver add-in checked then press okay and now you can go in data then you can find this solver this is very most important because it will it will help to the analysis of the feed and amount of ingredient that to be used the poultry feed uh, this uh, the, the main important thing are the ingredient what ingredient can we use for poultry feed and let's come to the in ingredient you can see all lot of ingredient in in here and uh, the ingredient that we, um, uh, we are going to use are placed in the active ingredient composition matrix we can see and these are cost you can see this is cost and minimum maximum to use then here we can see various factor protein content and calcium phosphorus calcium phosphorus ratio you can see all lot of this in ingredient ingredient just for example say the corn corn is cost and we can corn has cost of this 5.35 okay we can change it, its value according to the the market cost the main uh, main function of feed formulation that is that we can formulate the feed in least cost least cost to to maintain the least cost we should have the the cost option here in here so we can uh, input our value then a minimum and maximum to use uh, we can uh, we can use a minimum so basically uh, these are the active component uh, this uh, this these are the component that we are going to use in our feed formulation but um, uh, in 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 uh, in spite of this uh, active ingredient composition we can choose any any of the any any of these uh, these from from the storage ingredient mat matrix and can um, uh, can replace it from from uh, can replace another uh, ingredient from this uh, uh, active ingredient matrix so let's have time so let's jump to another uh, another set retail nutrients uh, this this is a whole lot important uh, okay you, you would see this type of this and this current spec specification and storage specification stored specification you can choose any of this suppose uh, we make the uh, we we want to make the um, ration for the feed formulation for the boiler starter so uh, you press the left and this uh, left mouse key and over the um, mouse over the uh, the required item and now make the copy 
and uh, and paste in this c4 c4 in in here in here okay now we get the boiler boiler starter we get the boiler starter so let's formulate the ration for the boiler starter now come to your formulate okay in this boiler starter come in your formulate and in this data you go to the solver option and in solver option you click solve okay you have to do enable now you do solve data solve solve and you can do ok and this uh, you you would get the how much how much quantity of the soft grain you to be used in this uh, corn grain you 60 percent then you swab in meal is 21 percent gluten meal is 3.60 percent poultry fat is this 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 whole lot of item that we have choose in the uh, ingredient came with the uh, this is specified amount uh, what can we uh, what can we include in our diet poultry fit diet or you can see whole lot of amount and this is the dry matter you 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 should check this metabolic energy is 3.2 is fine protein 23 percent in the starter ration is 7.1 this calcium 1 phosphorus several phosphorus it makes your to uh, match the ratio 1 is to 2 okay mm, it's fine now okay these are the these are the our um, data then this graphs okay this this graph shows the how much quantity of substance that is present in in our feed formulated feed you can see easily this there is no, no not so much to look in here that it field specification that we have already discussed in another uh, this formulate chart is it is same as this okay mm, suppose uh, you want to make the uh, feed formulation for um, boiler finisher so for to make the um, uh, for boiler finisher just uh, the copy copy the uh, boiler finisher um, boiler finisher nutrients from the uh, store specification to current specification uh, let's do okay let's do this let's do the copy the boiler um, this uh, finisher ration in from feed specification to the the current specification copy and make sure to paste in the c4 yeah, or it, it comes in, in here paste in here okay we have the boiler finisher and now we have to place this in the uh, current specification it will uh, now it will generate only for this current specification now come to the formulate this come to the formulate and this, this is the previous formulated rations so let's now go to the data and solver yes it will ask for some just press solve and press ok ok now we have the uh, formulation for the um, finisher this we can see this is protein 18 percent it's for finisher likewise you can see this 16 
and amino acid with this finishers uh, nutrient uh, you can change in your field name like I will type just type I'll type in here okay I'll type here finisher feed finisher P R O I L E R boiler feed the stream of example feed okay now this is formulated these are the graphs and this is the important you want this this feed is finisher bo boiler feeds and you can print this directly okay, you can print in this directly you have you have this sheet and you can formulate your ration with this sheet okay let's come to back this you all we have this all these data that uh, let's come to the cost okay mm -hmm. And let's come to nutrient ingredient okay let's make changes in course and see what happens okay this wheat with that and this there yeah, this well i i i'm going to make uh, changes in the barley and corn grain price what happens when we make change these are these have the same composition of this hmm. let's see what happens okay I am going to make a change in the soybean meal and gluten meal okay well let's see what happens make it mm. it's fine then go to formulate data this don't want to have in meal it is two it is 23 percent is showing 23 percent and it is showing two percent so okay okay now you can see this uh, soybean meal is uh, uh, decreased and gluten meal is increased uh, this uh, it uh, it automatically calculate calculates for your ideal or least cost formulation and uh, this you can see in where it cost something that it is not in mixing okay, okay. No, no, no. crabs formulate nutrient okay now how to change the now coming to another walkthrough how to change uh, the active ingredient composition matrix with storage ingredient composition matrix suppose we want to use um, fi meal in place of wheat uh, milling let's suppose uh, how can we use this uh, protein eater is means at 20 percent let's use this okay so make copy and paste paste over you where you want to change. oh it's already used sorry okay. now those we are barely waste no 
maybe we can use some barley waste okay, let's use this barley waste copy and paste in, in here barley waste which will like control b okay it's came barley waste and now let's go to the formulate okay this this is this is our previous one then data then solver then solve okay the con grain of it barley west we can say barley west uh, it is not used in the formulation maybe something it, it, it has calculated that it is not necessary or somewhat um, it is a uh, price compatible so it hasn't used this it's just uh, showing 0 percent this uh, you can change by this or it is or it is related to the amino acids okay now fine this uh, these are the uh, process that we can used for the um, feed feed formulation uh, this is quite um, copying and pasting is quite manual what it shows a uh, it shows um, it's uh, shows a Please do not forget to subscribe for more update. In next uh, in next uh, video, we will be uh, doing feed formulation by wind feed uh, feed formulation software. It's um, it's quite uh, easy than this, and uh, you can you would you would get to see uh, much more um, much more varieties in in the year. and uh, and uh, this uh, this wind feed also helps in formulation of ruminant feed. And uh, through this, uh, through this feed formulation Excel, you could uh, formulate the feed for uh, boiler, um, uh, boiler and layers, turkey, this uh, turkeys, you can see quail, quail, Japanese quail, dogs, and uh, and another is um, pig. And for pig, you can formulate this uh, feed formulation for the pig. Okay. Now um, let's in this uh, lecture. If you have any um, comments or uh, any difficulty, please write in the comment box or you can mail us directly at uh, the poultry help twenty twenty at gmail dot com. Thank you. Please.